Yo, what's up guys, Old School Dan here, and in today's video, I wanna talk about Ed Corny's bulging biceps routine. So this is the way the video is gonna go. We're first gonna honor Ed Corny, then I'm gonna give you his bicep gaining routine, then we're gonna move on to the maintenance routine, then I'm gonna list my sources on where I got this routine from. So I'm gonna first just, just give a shout out to Retro Muscle Mags on, on Instagram for, body, for, for providing this routine to me. Sorry, I started there a little bit. Dude, this guy makes great content. He has so much content, like, this beats gold. This beats gold in our bookworm. This beats me. This guy's got content from the '90s, from the '80s, from the '70s, from the '60s. Oh my gosh, he has a massive collection of old school bodybuilding magazines. You guys should check him out. It's at Retro Muscle Mags on Instagram. All right. So with that being said, let's get started. All right. So to kick off the video, I want to honor Ed Corny's death with a few moments of silence. So let's begin that right now. You know what? He was such an inspiration to everybody. I remember all those scenes when, um, well, it was a couple of scenes when Ed Corny was in Pumping Iron. I remember that set of squats when he did with Arnold. And when he, he when he's frustrated because Arnold's telling him to do more. And then Ed Corny's like, God damn, Arnold. And I remember all the times I did leg day. And I would always watch videos like that, like Arnold squatting, um, Ed Corny squatting. And even when I worked out, I just pictured, I was like, man. Ed Corny, I remember him getting mad at Arnold because he had to do more reps. And I was like, you know what? If, if he can do it, I can do it too. And it, these are videos I would watch before and even listen to during my workouts. They just got me through the workout. So I really appreciate um, Ed Corny as a, as, a, as a figure because he helped me through some those really tough leg days and some of those you know grueling workouts. So I um, really enjoy it. And it's so sad that he passed away because, you know, it's, it's sad that people don't just don't live forever. You know what I mean? Like, these are people like you look up to and they give you motivation and you know they won't be there forever because like you know Arnold's getting old and everybody looks up to Arnold as a big inspiration but you know he's not going to live forever and that's just the sad part of life but it's just something you you kind of got to get used to because that's just the circle of life people they come and they pass away you just got to enjoy them while they can and I honestly really enjoyed um Ed Corny while I could and even still to this day you can still enjoy him just watch him on YouTube watch the videos um, of him and Pumping Iron. So yeah, um, rest in peace at Corny. All right, so I was gonna hit you guys with some tips at the beginning of the video, but he doesn't really give any tips in this article. It's just kind of like exercises and some of the stuff he learned when he was doing the um, Mr. America and the other contest, but I'll get into that later on. But here's the workout. So we got a set of simple barbell curls, a good mass builder um, for all the overall biceps. We got three to four sets of eight to 10 repetitions. Then we got barbell preacher curls, which is a little bit more of an isolation exercise, sort of a restricted um, exercise to get more concentration in those biceps. Three, four sets of eight to 10 repetitions. And then we got the wide grip machine curls. And we could also say that's more for like a, the peak of the biceps as well because of the angle. Um, that's something I actually learned from Vince. The position of your hands of affects the type, the, the certain areas that you hit of your biceps. And to be honest with you, um, some of that stuff really isn't, well, now, now that we're in a, in a new era of science, that stuff's not true. Like, there's no such thing as hitting the lower pectorals or the upper chest or the um, or the, the peak of the biceps. The only way to just get better biceps is to just better, just to build overall development in those areas. And just, that's all just off, off basic exercise. That's something I learned earlier in this um this year, honestly, I mean, but, but the thing is, like, that's how I build my physique, and I, that's how I still will continue to help people build their physiques, because if it worked for me, then it will work for someone else's too, be, uh, someone else as well, because these guys like Arnold, Steve Reeves, Ed Corny, these guys built their foundation, their physiques off of information like this, like, oh, con like, we got the dumbbell concentration curls for the, the peak of the biceps, three to four sets. And eight to ten repetitions where in reality you can't really hit the peak of your biceps you can just build overall development and what the, whatever genetics you have say you got maybe long biceps or you got short biceps that's your if you have short biceps you're probably gonna have a better peak compared to someone who has long biceps and that's sort of a, a, a genetic genetic thing and the only way to just really improve like say you got long biceps the only way to get a better peak is just to continue um on progressing on those biceps, continue towards overall development, and you will get a higher, more fully developed bicep. 
there's no such thing as doing more concentration curls and preacher curls if um for a higher peak you know that's the reality but that is honestly how i've been that's how i built my physique with exercises like these like this like concentration curls with the peak of the biceps that's how i learned and that's how i built my physique so um there's some truth to it um next up is the barbell reverse curls just three to four sets of each 10 repetitions it hits the brachialis and the forearms so that's a good overall bicep workout but then again in reality if we are speaking from a natural standpoint this uh, this isn't the optimal workout for the biceps because the biceps is a small muscle and it doesn't require this much volume to get them to grow. But when I was younger, this is something I would have done for biceps because I had a lot more energy back then. I was still on those newbie gains and I was able to still progress from that. But from now, I don't feel like this is something I can do because I'd probably feel overtrained, especially because the biceps don't need that much volume. But yeah, um, we're going to move on to the maintenance routine that Ed Corney did right now. All right, so here is the less extensive routine. It's what Ed Corney called it when he decided to just maintain the size of his biceps. He wasn't interested in getting any more size, definition in the biceps, so this is what he used. We get the barbell curls, three to four sets, eight to 10 reps. Then we got the dumbbell preacher curls, three to four sets, eight to 10 repetitions. And lastly, finishing off cable concentration curls, three to four sets of 10 to 12 repetitions. Now this seems like a little bit more of a a more practical routine because it's about let's say three six nine let's say let's, we do the lowest, lowest volume so that we got nine sets for biceps which is a pretty good amount for bicep training um i don't think any more would be better but the one tip i have for you guys that ed corny gives us in and, and it's a really good tip and i should i'm actually going to make a full video on it is you'll know when you're proportional when people no longer single out any body part on yours you know you guys want me to repeat that because it's a pretty good tip You'll know when you're proportional, when nobody singles out a body part on your on you. Like, no one says, oh, you got a really nice back. Or you got really nice legs. They'll be admiring you. They'll be like, okay, you know, this guy's got great abs. He's got great legs. He's got a great back. They won't single out anything. Like, oh, man, you overall look good. Now, that's for another video. That's a really good tip, though. Um, lastly, I want to, uh, do I have anything else for you guys? Uh, let me think, let me think, let me think. No, nah, and that's it. All right, guys, to finish off the video, I want to list my sources where I got this information from. All right, so I want to list my sources. My sources are Retro Muscle Mags on Instagram. Great guy. We've had a little bit of conversation here and there. Um, he posts incredible content because he has content on every scene of the of old school bodybuilding. Of bodybuilding. He's got it in the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s. He posts stuff with Ed Corny, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jim Haslob. Um, a couple of bodybuilders from the 90s that I don't really um, take too much interest in, but you guys should really follow this guy. Like if, like if this guy was on YouTube and he did YouTube videos just like us, I think he he would beat both of me, Golden Era Bookworm, and 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 myself. So I think I already said that, but yeah, um, really good content at Retro Muscle Mags um, on Instagram. Great content. Um, he's actually doing giveaways. He's actually giving away old school magazines. Uh, if you just like tag him, tag someone in the picture or whatever but yeah check them out um with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for watching subscribe for more videos like this give this video a thumbs up i'm all school dan i'm gone peace